in the car. It's about 500 billion degrees out today. I am going to be taking a road trip to Modern Bread and Bagel. I forget exactly where it is, which is not helpful. I'll pipe that in later, but um, it is very far away. So normally I would be driving from Orange County. I had an appointment this morning, so I'm actually driving from Los Angeles, but it is still very far away from LA. It's still like an additional like 40 minutes away. So we're just gonna do it. Uh, this place gets mixed reviews online. Some people are like super into it. Some people are like, no, this is not good. But I really want a bagel and I really want some cream cheese and there are no gluten-free bagel bakeries in Orange County. So we are in it to win it. We're gonna go, we're gonna get some bagels, hopefully more than one bagel. I'm hoping that they have a bunch of different flavors. Might even get like a bagel sandwich. I think they have some donuts. So no complaints coming out of me at the moment, but it is super, super far away. I think it's in like Woodland Hills. I don't even know honestly like who lives out there or why they don't have like a Los Angeles based location, but we're just gonna go for it. I will keep you posted on what we find. This is me pre-driving 45 additional minutes from the you know hour plus that I've already driven from Orange County. So yeah, we'll see how we do. So you can see my hair is not up now. That drive was crazy and I got here and there's absolutely nowhere to park. So now I have to pay for parking, which is such a bummer, but hopefully it is worth the drive. All right, so we made it. And got everything bagel with cream cheese, arugula, onions, and tomatoes on it. Looks pretty good, definitely was not cut very evenly. Um, but we'll see how it tastes. It's only been a few minutes and I have eaten half of this everything bagel sandwich. I will say people online were complaining about the quality of the bagel being too doughy. It is a little bit doughy slash undercooked. I actually don't mind it. I would say overall the quality of the bagel is like way better than something you would get at like a Trader Joe's. Um, I think because the bagel was like toasted and they put cream cheese on it while it was still warm, the cream cheese is a little, but you know what? I think it's from the tomatoes actually. I was gonna say something stupid, like, oh, the cream cheese is a little watery for my taste. I think that the tomatoes and like pickled onions made the cream cheese watery. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm eating while I'm talking. I would get this again. It was a little bit pricey. I'm interested to try it. I got two different, bagels to come with me. I think one sesame, one plain. I really wanted to get a um, cinnamon raisin, but they did not have any. They were sold out, which is kind of weird because I could see them on um, the little like pegs, but apparently those were not for sale. Maybe those were just for show. Um, so yeah, I would probably give this like an eight out of 10. If I lived closer to the area, I feel like I would definitely come back here. I don't know if it's worth like the drive all the way out here to get a bagel. Like I said, I definitely need to try some of the other bagels that I bought to take home with me. Um, but I do agree with people's reviews that the bagels are a little bit like undercooked. I don't know if you can see that from there. Like that is kind of raw. Like I said, I personally don't mind the texture, but I could see how that would be off-putting to some people. And then as I mentioned, this is the everything bagel sandwich. Let me see if I can just hold it up. I'm just gonna turn myself around. It's not gonna work. So yeah, pretty good. Decent amount of like toppings in there. But um, yeah, and then I also got a donut and a um, black and white cookie to try for later. I will say that I was planning on getting more baked goods, but just upon like first glance at their case, the baked goods looked kind of underwhelming. And I have a couple of other spots in Los Angeles that I think that the stuff looks like more visually appealing. So I only got a donut and a cookie to test out later um because you know everything is very expensive but was kind of underwhelmed by like the curb appeal of the baked goods so we'll see but i'm gonna finish this bagel sandwich for sure just realized that i'm wearing a completely different top than the one i was wearing at the beginning of this video i promise you it's still the same day it's actually so hot here that i ended up changing my shirt before arriving. So here we are, same day, different shirt. It's like 100 degrees here, not my favorite. That gluten-free road trip was insane. Just made it back to my 
apartment after like hours and hours and hours of driving. We did have a casualty during the road trip and the casualty is going to be this black and white cookie. I just couldn't help myself and ate half of it. Oops. I think I was like stress eating it in the car. So much traffic. Um, okay. So reviews on Yelp and Google of the baked goods of this place basically said that the baked goods were too sweet. The reviews once again are accurate. This cookie was way too sweet. The frosting of the cookie was, I think, what was making it like extra, extra sweet it was like way too much like way too much like not in a good way in a very bad way i will say that the vanilla side tasted better than the chocolate side um this is just like a plain you know sugar cookie but the chocolate frosting was just not good quality i'm also more of a vanilla person than a chocolate person myself but yeah, it was not the best. Not the best. Not terrible. The sugar cookie was fine. I've made sugar cookies before of like a similar taste and texture. So I didn't think it was anything too special, but I think that they like missed an opportunity to make the frosting really good. Um, frosting way too sweet. So that's okay. Try a donut later and see how that goes. So I wanted to wrap up this taste test. We have yet another outfit change this time complete with some wet hair because I had to shower after that extremely long hot day so three things that I have left to taste from this modern bread and bagel forgot the name of it briefly modern bread and bagel was a plain bagel sesame bagel and a donut so I'm gonna start with the plain bagel I just cut a little piece out of it because that bagel sandwich from earlier was quite filling. Um, and the reason I'm tasting these now is because I feel like gluten-free baked goods and or like just any baked goods do not taste as good the next day and they usually get stale. So I want to give this a fair taste test and shot. Also didn't toast it or anything. There's no cream cheese on here. I'm just going for it. Mm. it's pretty good definitely needs some cream cheese probably needs to be toasted um not super flavorful but i would say it's like pretty consistent with the bagel taste that i remember from my childhood before i was diagnosed with celiac disease and we have the sesame Whoopsies. Hmm. As you can see, the seat's kind of just like got everywhere. So, oh, the seat in my hair for a second. All right. So, they taste pretty similar. Um, I mean, I guess there's like a slight sesame taste, but really they taste pretty much identical. They have pretty similar consistency, so that's good. So, the last thing I'm going to taste this is the strawberry donut. I will say that one of the first things I noticed about this donut is that this frosting, strawberry frosting on this donut, is just like very like melty. I don't know if that's because it was in my car and they gave it to me in a little plastic container. Maybe the container got kind of like humid. I have no idea, but the strawberry like um, frosting, I was expecting it to be like a hard like crispy frosting shell. This is very, very mushy and messy and it's getting all over the place. So we'll taste this donut, see how it is. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I feel like I've had better donuts, but that's, I like this donut way better than the black and white cookie. Um, same complaint about the frosting just being way too sweet. But the donut itself is quite pleasant. It tastes like a fried donut to me and not a cake donut, which I really do appreciate because a lot of uh, gluten-free donuts are cake donuts, which is fine. But 
you know, having an actual like authentic fried donut's always nice. But yeah, so I get this again. Not bad. Frosting a little off-putting in texture, but taste of the donut is pretty spot on. Um, yeah. So I would say overall experience at Modern Bread and Bagel was good. As I mentioned before, the price point there is pretty steep, but I feel like that's pretty typical for gluten-free foods. Um, I feel like I would definitely go back, but as I mentioned, I live quite far away. So I don't know. I think it was worth the road trip, but I think that they could do slightly better with some of their baked goods. Um, but I felt like their bagels were pretty, pretty spot on. So overall a good experience, very expensive. They got to get the sweetness of those baked goods, particularly their frosting sweetness under control. But yeah, I enjoyed myself. I would recommend if you ever find yourself in the Woodland Hills area, definitely check it out. Um, if you are looking for a fully gluten-free spot and they have a lot of options there. Their menu is pretty extensive. Um, I didn't try any of their other breakfast options was really just going there for the bagels and the baked goods.